Hi, I am Salil Aroda, pursuing Electronics and Communication Engineering. I congratulate Placement Board for setting up this platform for helping students through the placement procedure. I am here to share my experience with ARM Embedded Intern Interview. ARM is the multinational semiconductor and software developer company. It only creates and licenses their technology rather than manufacturing and selling their physical CPUs. ARM visited our campus at an, in the month of March. They were here for providing the two-month summer internship. The place of internship was Bangalore. Monthly time for offered was twenty thousand, and they were here for provi providing the internship for the profile of design engineer. The first round was a pen and paper test. The cutoff for this test was seventy-five percent. First paper was for a technical portion. It had around fifty questions, and time limit for the test was ninety minutes. First ten questions were multiple correct, and rest were single option correct. The technical paper had equal spread over the subjects like digital electronics, network analysis, and analog electronics. Network analysis had numerical solving questions of finding voltages and currents in the circuits. Analog was more of the kind revolving around the zener diodes, and other questions were theoretical based. Digital electronics had very simple questions of counters, flip flops, and gates. The second exam was a aptitude. It was just twenty questions, and time limit was thirty minutes. Questions were of medium to difficult level. It had a LR and DA section as well. Only thirteen students were shortlisted for this interview procedure. My interview started off with him making me comfortable. His first concept was, "Tell me about yourself." He chose the things I mentioned in my introduction to cross question me. Then he went to all my projects and asked me to explain each and every in detail. Then I was handed over a sheet of paper. He asked me to draw a D flip flop. I drew it with a conventional JK flip flop method, but he wanted me to do this with a CMOS and switches. Then he shifted his focus to the difference between latches and flip flops, the difference between the asynchronous and synchronous counters. He wanted me to explain the working of each type of counters. Then the interview shifted to the PN junction. I was asked to draw a PN junction and explain all its characteristics using energy band diagram. In all the cases, like reverse biased, equilibrium, forward biased, similar things were carried out for the MOSFET as well. Then he gave me a pair of no node voltages for the CMOS and asked me, "Can these pair of voltages are possible for for us uh, for the CMOS or not?" After the technical interview, only two students were shortlisted for the HR interview. My HR interview was very generic. He asked me who you are, where you from, belong to, what your parents do, why are you in this college? If you haven't got this college, which college you have, would have preferred? Another question he asked me was, if we were not visiting the, your campus for the summer internship, which other company you were targeting for the internship? The other questions were like, "What are your plans of after your graduation? Do you want to work or go for a higher education?" If they were going to hire me, were my parents will are they allow me to settle in Bangalore or not? Just stick to the basics. Only generic questions are asked in the interview. Keep your CV updated and never fake about your projects. For any further queries, comment below and subscribe to the channel.